What up? <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, I forgot to hit the intro. <laughs> That's all good. <laughs> you know what? You know what? Last night was tell all was so good. You know what? You know what? Damn the intro! Come on, let's get to it. Let's right. Get to, let's just let's get, get right into the meat and a lot going on. Let's get to the meat and potatoes of this. Come on, man. And oh, oh Lord. Lord! Oh, what you drink? You got your drink? You got yes. your drink? Come yeah, on. got my drink. Let's let's toast. Take a sip. Take toast. Let's sip. Come on. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. Man, Ooh, oh, okay. The tea. the tea was hot Let's last night. Come out the gate. If you all watched the tell all part one and two, mm -hmm. there was a certain short little man with the obnoxious, star-studded, ridiculous outfit. Who would not shut the heck up the oh whole my night? Gosh. And if you watch the show, you know I'm talking about gibberish. Oh, God. Ugh. Now, oh. let's start from, let's, let's just break it down. Let's talk about his outfit, first of all. <laughs> now, we've seen them throughout the season. He and me always have these matching outfits and stuff, which you know is his idea. Because if you really look at the look at her face, she looks like, yeah, I'm just going along with this. Like, whatever. <laughs> She's getting my green card. Um, so, they weren't matching. They had similar colors on, but they weren't matching. Her dress actually was really cute. Mm -hmm. He looked plum ridiculous in this sparkly, <laughs> I look like fireworks pattern gone wrong. I, I don't know what the heck he was doing. It, it screamed pay attention to me. And not only did he have the outfit that looked crazy as hell, mm -hmm. he wouldn't stop running his mouth. He had he a wouldn't. on every couple. Everything. It's like oh god. It's it, it goes back to that saying of don't try to don't throw stones if you live in a glass house and if you got a glass jaw you should watch your mouth. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I mean, I listen, I've said it before. I said it last night. I said it again today on Twitter. I, you know what? You sitting here commenting and talking about who ain't going to work out, who this, who this. Let me, re let's remind the people of something from what we learned last night. Jabri and Miona are one, just going to be living wherever they can, basically squatting. Okay. Right. That, that, well, that, he yeah. said, where are you living? And she said, uh, what was it? South no, um Palm Springs. Palm Springs? Yeah. For that's now. A... I mean, but they aren't like... And Palm Springs, hey, that, that that's not cheap, by the way. And not only that, they haven't... Jabri hasn't spoken to his parents in six months. And they that's declined cool. to be on the show last night, too. Okay, now that's oh, really... That's now that's saying something. But not only yeah. that, but not only that, Jabri ain't got no job. Miona can't work. Miona looks good. She's a model. We all know that. She wants to live that LA lifestyle. I said this before. I said this again last night. Jabri better be checking her DMs to make sure ain't no LA Laker, LA Clipper, LA rapper, a uh, rapper named Young LA are in her DMs. Yeah. Cause she about to leave him the minute that happens. Oh yeah, as soon as someone comes by with more money and more more fame and more power, she's out of there. Um, Absolutely. Now, I'm not yeah, saying she's a gold digger, but she got standards. You know? Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, he was really ticking me off. He was just gunning for everybody. I re For some reason, and I couldn't figure it out yet, mm -hmm. uh, he was really going after Ari and Benny. Ari more than Benny. And my first thought was, okay, he's trying to deflect by coming out of the gate as the bad guy because he knows people are going to have something to say about how he treated his parents and him living at home at 28 and all this kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. So I think I, I was like, okay, he's trying to come out of the gate, deflect and be this character. And then he probably wants a spinoff. So he wants to cause controversy. And mm -hmm. then he's, you know, I was a little jealous because, you know, he was targeting Benny and Ari because. You know, Ari's letting Benny do his MMA thing. I mean, he's even in Vegas right now, like yeah. in Vegas trying to make his dream come alive. Mm -hmm. And I thought, okay, you know, Jabri's got some resentment there because he gave up his family, he gave up the band, all for Miona. 
Mm-hmm. And he just came across this bitter little man. Like, yeah. who's your draw? But there's something deeper there. Like, he was just hating on Ari so much. That is, an, a, Jabri is the walking example of the saying, the male ego is very fragile. Oh. Because my, my question to Jabri is, bruh, who hurt you? Right. Who in this group hurt you? Okay. I mean, don't get me wrong. We 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 found some stuff about Ari and Benny too, but they're making it work. They're doing whatever yeah. it is they need to do to, to make that relationship yeah, work. Whatever works, yeah. And it's just like when him, he is like Jabri is the type of guy that when he and Miona walk down the street and he sees a guy walking towards him, he got to put his arm around Miona and then get that dude the the, the stone Grab cold her hand look. Exactly, yeah. she's mine. Yeah, it's yeah. like it's like your his insecurities really showed last night. They really did by attack the whole tell all his insecurities showed. They really did attacking all these couples. And what made me really upset with him was when he attacked Bilal and Shaida. Mm. But and here's the thing though, Bilal just so back up. He um he and John got into it, of course, on the break room. It's called him Sparkles, Sparkles, and everything. And then so, um, so John is Patrick's brother. Yes, Patrick is married to Thias. Yes. Um and uh so yeah, who is uh, who is pregnant? We found out. Mm-hmm. Um. And so John is actually li- John and li- used to live with his brother, or still lives with his brother. Mm-hmm. Um, and Thias, you know, she's not really feeling the whole situation. So uh, Jabri, John comes out, and right out the gate, he accuses John of being drunk. And John wasn't drunk. He wasn't, he wasn't. you know, he's like, oh, you probably had a six pack. Look at you, you're drunk. And John's like, whoa, who the hell are you, Sparkles? Sparkles. Nobody <laughs> can say Sparkles. Like, Sparkles. <laughs> Did you see all the clowns? They were clowns in the line. <laughs> they, they gave him like it was it a, a toilet paper brand that said Sparkles. That's the, I bought that brand before. It's it's a, a paper towel brand. Sparkles. <laughs> it was hilarious. And they had this picture on it. But, oh, but yeah. people people have been you know the way John John's from Boston Boston. Mm-hmm. So Boston. the way it says yep. Sparkles, it sounds like it's spelled S P O K O O C K L E S instead of the A. Uh, anyway, so okay, yeah. just come back to it. So go ahead, Bilal. Yeah, so so Bilal. So during the break, he gets into it with John. They come back from break. Bilal goes over to him and has a heart to heart with him. He just hey, he says hey, man, you know, listen, don't let nobody you know out try you know uh, you know try to you know take away your shine and, and your gift and everything. Okay. And and they seem to have like a heart to heart, you know, brother to brother moment. Only for like no less than ten minutes later, Jabri to go, oh, them two ain't gonna make it neither. He's he's like he's like even he's like even Muhammad, y'all good. Uh, uh, Kobe and Emily, you guys are good. He goes, Pat Daish, you guys are good. He goes, but Ari and Benny, y'all not good. And Shaida and Bilal, y'all not gonna last neither. I'm sorry, but who dubbed him Doctor Phil? <laughs> that's all I'm saying. That's all we okay, said. Okay, let's talk about Ari and Benny. You kind of yeah. talked about it. Uh, we found out some interesting stuff about their relationship. Yeah. Um, Ari went to Ethiopia. You know, the one thing I had to give Ari, and I'm not really an Ari fan, but I had to give it to her. She actually kept her cool. She Jabri did. was really trying to bait her into, you know, acting as ignorant as he was, and, and she didn't. She didn't. You know, I got to give it to her. And then she says, yeah, I was there for three months uh, in Ethiopia, you know, feeding families and, and, you know, they have a war going out there. And so I was mm-hmm. on this whole mission, you know, and, and I'm like, mm-hmm. wow, okay, Ari, you know, good for you. Mm-hmm. I'm like, see, Jabri, mm-hmm. you, you know, you're knocking down folks and whatever, and they're doing good, doing good out there. Mm-hmm. But uh, go ahead and talk about the real interesting part of while she was there. So what? So according to Ari, while she was there, her and Benny didn't talk at all because she was afraid of if she tried to call him that he wouldn't pick up, he would block her. So he did tried, that before. Yeah, because he had done that before. Yeah. So this time around, she tried to beat him to the punch, and she blocked him. Which everybody's like, that doesn't sound like a healthy relationship. 
It doesn't. You're blocking your husband so that he doesn't block you. I mean, yeah. I, keep it, in mind, Benny did say last time that he the reason he blocked her was because she was calling and being all irate and cursing at him, and and he just didn't want to deal with it. He was already stressed out because he wasn't sure she was coming back with his son, and you know it was a whole thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, not saying he was right in blocking her, mm-hmm. but I think it's childish for her to, you know, come out of the gate. Okay, I'm gonna block him. Mm-hmm. Uh, it was just weird. The whole thing was weird. But you know, according to them, they said that they got closer because of it. absence does so whatever make the heart grow fonder. For is it is what they say. So yeah, whatever. But else. hold on, though. Somebody brought up something to my attention today on Twitter. They said, interesting that Leonardo. Her ex husband was not who we saw this season was not invited on the tell all, and I said, "Okay, so TLC might know something that we don't." Oh, you mean Leandro? Yeah, because he wasn't invited. I thought yeah, the way they spelled it like his name was Leonardo, but you said Leonardo. Leonardo. <laughs> no, 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 that's how I saw his name because that's how I saw his name on Twitter. Yeah, well, that's how I saw his name on Twitter. I'm like. And I said there, I said, you know what? I bet you TLC knows something that we don't. I was wondering about that, too. I was like, I'm surprised he didn't come on. I just knew that was going to happen. Yeah. And so. then he declined, but they didn't say they asked him and he declined. But I just knew that he was going to be on there. So that is really interesting. No, oh, absolutely. Well, you know, uh, everybody got to do what they got to do. Um, okay, let's talk about Muhammad and Eve. So one of Eve's friends came Mm-hmm. And Muhammad just out of the gate starts like wailing on this girl, like he's clearly still bitter from their dinner or whatever. Mm-hmm. You know, he would he got upset because uh, the girl showed up and they were you know had their boots pushed up and everything, and um, he felt like they were just trying to you know see if he'd say something, which they were. Mm-hmm. Um, and then the conversation, you know. Uh, it w- it was pretty contentious back and forth with them. I mean, he, you know, how dare you say that to me? And you shouldn't say that mm-hmm. to me. Even here, E whisper, you need to chill out. Mm-hmm. You, to, you know, she kind of says it under her breath. Mm-hmm. But the friend, like, she didn't back down. She was like, I want to ask uh, the co- other couples here, how many people, uh, how many of your partners or spouses told you they wanted to find another sponsor? And then he tried to deny that he said that. Right. And and, and uh, Sean's like, well, we have a clip. <laughs> He's back. Oh, no. no, remember um, Mr. Uh, fake Dr. Phil Jabri um, <laughs> was like, uh, oh, well, I think it, should, it was the language barrier. It was like a language thing. And Sean's like, we have the clip. We'll put it on. And then afterwards, he's like, that didn't look like a language barrier to me. It looks like perfectly spoken English was happening. Yep. Yep. Like shut up, Jabri. Exactly. Exactly. And so, you know, yeah, he was. It's like, yeah, you can't just go saying that. Oh, I'm going to find the sponsor. It's first of all, good luck uh, finding somebody that's going to sponsor you. Uh, that's not. That's not an easy process, especially to get the K one visa and stuff. And think about you got to do all the paperwork to transfer it. No, nah, no. Nah. But um, one thing that did happen was is they started talking about you know. Well, why are you talking about our sex life? That's none of your business what goes on. And I said, you know what? I get it that your sex life is something private that nobody should know about. But it is a mistake to think that your girl is not going to get together with her girlfriends and they're not going to talk about what goes on behind closed doors. That's what girlfriends do. I mean, so, yeah, you're, he has to remember he's not in this country anymore. So... They well, um, yeah, there's more to Muhammad, but we'll say that from the end, since that was at the end of the show, that something was revealed. <laughs> yeah, well, we'll wait on that. But, um, okay, who's next? Uh, Thai, you know, actually, Thai St. Patrick, there, you know, John was, he was pretty chill. He was. You know, he was pretty chill. Thai did say that she felt like, you know, Patrick told him too much, and Patrick's like, but it's my brother, like, we're mm-hmm. close, you know, yeah. and of course, I'm mean, just like you just said, girlfriends are going to talk. Guys are going to talk, you yeah. know, um, they had a pretty tumultuous childhood. So they they bonded. And that's why John lives with him. And, you know, so mm-hmm. Thais is going to have to I mean, I get her side too. You, you know, you newlywed. You don't want 
somebody else living with you, brother, sister, whoever, right? So I get mm-hmm. her, I get it. But she's just going to have to be kind of patient because, you know, you can't just throw your sibling out on the street. You know what I mean? Right. No, you, you so, can't. But also, you know, in the green room when Kenny and Tim, <laughs> I forgot that they were there. So they popped. I forgot. Yeah. Too. Kenny and Tim. So Kenny and Tim from previous season um, were the commentators. Something new they were trying. I wasn't really feeling it because I, I felt, and somebody put on Twitter, that's what Pillow Talk is for. And I agree. Exactly. You know, they both were on Pillow Talk at one point in time. And I that their whole thing was kind of clunky and weird. I didn't like it. Yeah. So, but it was cool though that they went and talked to him. But and actually, John, you know, said, you know, listen, whether or not, you know, Thais and I get along, he's like, you know, at the end of the day, I want my brother and her to be happy, and that's what's really important to me. So, yeah. he's like, you know, I'm able. Basically, what he's saying is, I'm able to set aside whatever differences I have with her for the sake of my brother's happiness. Yeah. Yeah. You know what? So- and you know what? I, 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 we got to applaud John for that. All we right, do. John. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Now, I hope John is the one that gets his own spinoff. That would be a fun little show to watch. Well, somebody on Twitter uh, was joking, saying, you know, Jabri's trying so hard to get a spinoff. Wouldn't it be funny if John was the one that got a spinoff? <laughs> Someone actually said that. Yep. I guarantee you, I guarantee you John is going to be on not this upcoming season, but the following season of Single Life. Mark my words. Oh, I bet you they're gonna try to find somebody for John. Yep. Well, um, let's see. Okay, so then we had uh Kobe and, and Emily. Mm-hmm. Now, surprisingly, Emily did not get on my nerves like I thought she would. I just, I mean, you know what? Jabri was the the, the worst. Uh, I, I think he just he was just the worst. So even the people Bilal, who I usually don't really care for, exactly. he would be chill. Um. Exactly. Oh, you want to tell him about the ex coming on? Bilal's ex. So oh, Bilal's ex wife. Yeah, ex wife. Come yeah. to mine. And yeah. so there was definitely uh, some tension uh, there. Yeah, definitely some tension. But also, um, you know, she tried to, you know, say, well, you know, this whole prenuptial agreement is important because, you know, we don't, you know, you're coming in here with nothing. And Shaida shut it down. She's like, you don't know what I have back in my homeland. She's like, I, I didn't come here broke. So right, she has her own business, had her own business, mm-hmm. you know, and was doing quite well her own yoga business. So yeah, mm-hmm. the ex was she was out of pocket for that. I think I, I I got a I got a hater vibe from her. Yeah. You know, um she revealed that, you know, uh when she was with Bilal, she you know, she was trying to juggle man, you know, raising two kids and meeting his needs, mm-hmm. you know, as far as his kind of O C D ness and all that. Mm-hmm. And she seemed kind of bitter about it to me. Yeah, you cause know, because um, yeah. um, she was the one that initiated the divorce. If yeah. I remember correctly. Yeah. So I think what yeah. so yeah so I agree I did get hater vibes and I think what it is is you know Bilal was pulling out all the stops for Shaida right you know he's still being Bilal right you know, but and then on top of that her kids are you know getting along with this lady so of course you know she's like. You need to sign the prenup. You need to get the prenup and everything done because now she's afraid that Shaida is going to come and be like, "Hey, you need to stop paying child support to her." Which Shaida is not going to do that. I mean, no, yeah, she's protecting her child support. You know, it, it, so anybody yeah. new coming in is obviously a threat because you know you mm-hmm. feel like, um, uh oh, that's going to cut into you know we got this prenup. She has expectations, you know, he has to, you know, help her create her yoga thing and whatever, her business and stuff. Mm-hmm. And so, yeah, she's seeing it like, okay, this, you know, food could come out of my kid's mouth kind of thing, you know? Um, yeah. I, I, think, I think you're right. I don't think Shaida, she doesn't strike me as that kind of person at all. No, but I also think it goes back to that saying, too. I think she still loves Bilal. Mm-hmm. And there's that saying, you never real. and remember, she let Bilal go. There's that saying, you never realize how good your baby look until you see him on the arm of somebody else. Did you make that up yet? I never heard that. No, I've heard that a few times. <laughs> I think I think I think it was Steve Harvey that said it on his radio show. <laughs> Cause somebody had because they did like an ass Steve and they talk about, you know, broke up with my girl and now I'm jealous and everything because she got a new dude. So No, I, I do believe that sentiment though. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah. So you know, you see him with somebody else, and and you're mm-hmm. like, oh well, how come he's treating her better? Or he didn't do that for me, or she didn't do that for me, or you know. Mm-hmm. So yeah. Um. Uh. There wasn't a whole lot with Kara and Guillermo either. Which was oh, nice because the well, ex came on. Yeah, he. We forgot about the the the, the wish Kenny Kenny G wish <laughs> from Wish. <laughs> he did come on, and he tried to say that he didn't feel that uh, he was that uh, man enough. Guillermo was man enough, and I'm just like, again, you're upset because of how she broke up with you. She went off to college, and you know, and just lived her life. So now she found somebody new. Meanwhile, you still stuck in your hometown, drinking beers more than John, clearly, and you're bitter about it. So yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, that was pretty interesting. Um, mm-hmm. I guess that's everybody. Okay, so let's talk about. Let's go ahead and talk about Muhammad. So we get to the end of the show, and. We did a show and the text comes on TV and it says, uh, after filming the t- tell all part two, it was revealed that Muhammad has mm-hmm. been talking to another woman this entire time behind Eve's back. Eve comes on, she's crying, she's upset, she's like, It's devastating, I can't believe it. Muhammad comes on and fake tears. Um, you know, he's wiping his eyes. I'm like, There's no tears, what are you wiping your eyes for? And apparently, because they showed the text messages, he, you know, uh, he met this woman. Uh, I don't know. Did it say how she contacted him? I no, mean, I'm, I mean, I'm assuming the DMs. Like the DMs or something. Yeah. They, they had this full-on conversation, and he said, oh, I just got to wait until my I get my green card, and then you and I can be together. I'm going to keep you in bed all day. And she's like, oh, I can't wait. And, and I was like, you little, mm, mm, mm. I knew it. We all knew it. Mm-hmm. And as much as he, you know, got on her about the bidet and, you know, this and that, and my mom did this and my mom did, I knew it. I said, he is, mark my words, mm-hmm. he is not going to be anything nice to her. And we're seeing it now. Mm-hmm. And trust and believe, he just got caught with that one. I'm sure there's plenty more. Or, or there's gonna be more if there isn't already. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I mean, if yeah, it, but yeah. he hasn't got his green card yet. There may he hasn't. Been. But it, what? So what I learned in a previous season is that if the infidelity is is proven, then she could be like ship him back, and she doesn't have to. You know, she's not responsible for him anyway. Mm, but because she has to be able to prove it. Cause didn't that happen with was it was it Jay and Ashley? Yes. Yeah, yes. I think it was Jay and Ashley. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because mm-hmm. our yeah, because she 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 I don't think she because Jay is still here in the states, but I don't think she ever filed for his adjustment. I don't think she ever did. Yeah, I, I don't yeah. know what happened with that, but I know she didn't. He didn't get his green card, not through her. Yeah, I mean, he might have it now, but yeah. Well, also, I was going to say, too, didn't remember, remember uh, last season of Single Life, we learned Mike never filed for uh, uh, Natalie's status yeah. change, yeah. and she had a breakdown <laughs> right there. Yeah. She, got, she got embarrassed on national TV. Oh, well. You know, I mean, again, you know, you bring these young guys over here who these 22, 23-year-olds – and they chances are they ain't never been with any other women, let alone American women. And you know, next thing they know, they, they get freedom and everything, and they're like, wait a minute. I and then next thing they know, they're on and on top of that, they're on t- add to the fact they're on TV. They're on so TV. Course, exactly. So of course, the girls that are sliding your DMs all of a sudden, they're not with you because they want you. They with you because they think you got some of this. But in reality, exactly. you're a reality TV star. You've been on there for one season, so or they want to get on TV. Exactly. So, yeah, we'll we'll see. We'll see them on the next season of Happily Ever After. 
Well, I can't wait till Happy Ever After because it's going to start next week. Yes. We saw Angela. We saw Michael. We saw uh, Ed and Liz. Jovi and um, Yara. Who? Jovi and Yara. Jovi and Yara. Mm -hmm. um, it's going to be an interesting season. Yeah, Andre and Elizabeth are going to be on there again. Andre and Elizabeth, yep. Mm -hmm. yep. That's the yep. yes. I'm excited so, for that. I am too. I am mm -hmm. too. And um, then we got Single Life in September. Single Life in September. Yep, oh, yeah. absolutely. It's going to be good. It's going to be good. So It's going to be good. Our schedules uh, are packed. What? I said our schedules are packed. <laughs> oh, yeah, for sure. We're here to keep you informed. Yes. Because we love 90 Day. Sure do. <laughs> All right, peeps. With that, I'm gonna say goodbye, good night, and uh, we'll see you next week for happily ever after. Later.